Hello everyone, welcome to the first C tutorial that I'll be doing, and in fact my first video. So, this is C, obviously. So, you're obviously here to learn, but I'm not going to be pampering you and giving you the soft touch that, that, others, that others use. I'm not going to be using the things like code blocks that they use. I'm going to be using a much more technical perspective in the it gives you a much better understanding because when I started this a while ago well when I had a full start a while ago I used an integrated development environment like they show like code blocks except I used an old one called dev C++ which could also compile C as well and that did not go well okay so without further ado let's get started so what we're gonna want first is something called our compiler and if you're on Windows you're gonna want this it's called MinGW. Now, I don't think I need to explain to you how to download it, but I think I'll probably go through here because this is easier. But. So, I don't think I'm going to need to explain to you how to download it. We essentially run that, and boom, you have your executable. You have your, you have your compiler. Now, next, I was just on there originally because I've done a couple of takes, but so. Now, if you've installed it correctly, you should have something called MinGW in here. So, we click on bin, and we're here. And this contains our compiler and everything, which turns our code into stuff that the machine can understand, or at least Windows with the machine can understand. Now, so you see this, we're going to copy and paste that. So, I'm not, I don't need to do this, but I'm just showing you anyway. So, boom, close that. Then we go into control panel and we find system variables. And environment variables. So now we go down to something called path, which is here. No, nope, not new. Edit. So ignore that, that's just a silly little thing I wrote. I might demonstrate you how to how to use this later on. If I get good enough, well, I mean, if there's any point. So now here, you put a semicolon after the first, after the thing at the end, and you co and you paste in that that C min G W bin. Now what this does is it tells them it gives the machine a, a path to your compiler, so you don't have to go into the directory and compile it from there with a folder if you. A new folk. So now you've done that. Obviously, of course, okay, okay, okay. And now, in theory, you can write code now. You don't need anything like any other downloads because that's all you really need. But I don't recommend typing it out in something like Notepad because it doesn't have things like syntax highlighting. I mean, it doesn't have. It's not very slick. It's spare bones, really. I mean. If you're on some, if you're on Linux, one thing I would recommend is going with the Nano in the in like terminal mode. I use that to learn C on my Raspberry Pi about a couple a, a while ago. But so I use that, and that's quite good because that has things like highlighting things like like certain things I'll get on onto later because I don't want to boggle your brain at the moment with technical terms like I already have. But so. We've we've now done that, so you've you've got your compiler now. But now I'm not going to recommend it, but I'm not going to recommend using Notepad. But I will show you a good alternative, which I will use throughout all of these tutorials. So it's called Notepad Plus Plus, and this, as you can see, it highlights things. Uh, ignore that for now. But well, you can look at it, but it's just an example. So. You click the install. I don't think I need to tell you how to install it like with the other one. Not that I did anyway, but well, let's get started. So now you're thinking. So I've got my Notepad plus plus. I've got my compiler. How do I write code now? Now I'm going to show you. I'm not going to talk now because I'm just going to type out the code and I'll explain it to you in a minute. All right.
Now then, I've, co I've written this code. Now, before I get into explaining it, I'll save it in the right format because it's annoying. And previous attempt. Bug off. Now then, so we have this. Our main file. It's it, you should really call it main, but you can call it whatever the hell you like. It doesn't matter as long as it's a C file. So it's a C file now. So you save it. Saved. So I'll get on to explain this. So this up here is something called the preprocessor. And this is very, very important. As it tells the compiler to include things like for example this is called stdio.h, which is the which is the the library that comes with the compiler which handles things like console input and output. For example, this this is like this this here is printf which comes from this library here and what this does is it puts a certain a, like a like a sentence or something or a string if you want to be all technical about it onto the screen of the console now this is something called the main and the main is automatically run when you start a program and it runs everything inside here and when it gets to here, I'll, I'll explain the thing next tutorial. But because you won't, you don't really have the understanding at this point to grasp it because I haven't explained it. But so this returns zero essentially tells the computer, yeah, it's run fine. So without further ado, let's show you how to compile it. So now oh, this is just my thing. So to check it. So just check it. It's got the file in there, so that's my program that I had made. Not clear because it's normally CLS like this. But alright, clear. Yeah. So anyway, now let's actually make our program. So many people will recommend this, but the trouble is, is this creates something called a, an object file, which can clutter up these fold these dark files a lot. But it's handy for some things. But since we're only using one file. You may as well just do this. So you can call it hello world. You can call it whatever the heck you like. So no. The GCC GCC here. This is our C compiler. You can do things like G and other things with it, but that'll probably be for another tutorial series. And this here tells GCC to totally assemble a file. Like a like a executable, so it it basically goes through, turns our C code into something called assembly, and then turns that into sort of an object intermediate language, and then it links it, which essentially means put this into the full executable, and when that's done, when it's linked, it produces our full working executable file, so. This will be the name of our file, hello world. Right? And it will be made from our main.c, which is this. So let's go. Compiled. It's now in a workable format. And now just to demonstrate what it does, I'm gonna run it. So if you've compiled it correctly, installed all the tools correctly, and all of that. That this should work fine, but here we go. So now, as we can see, this is this is written "Hello World" to our console, and it's made an extra line, and then the program has ended. Now this extra line is to do with this, which stands for "New Line," and it makes a new line in the console. So yeah, <laughs> so and then our program ends. Now I think the next tutorial is going to be on variables. Barry balls. Um, <laughs> now, uh, I'll see you around. And of course, you should always use this compile. You can you can always use code blocks. I mean, a lot of this is going to be well. I think all of it is going to be to do with code blocks and all of that. I might go through make files, but don't worry about that. Okay, so on the next ep on the next C tutorial, it will be tutorial two, of course. <laughs> Variables. All right. Good luck with this endeavour.